Hello beautiful people welcome back to another episode of book recommendations by Kavi on my channel Kavi Space Well it's another Sunday so which means another video and today I am here as you have might seen on the thumbnail and on the title the review of the book Sakina's Kiss by Vivek Shanbag. So this came to me as an early publisher copy, and first of all, Penguin, thanks for sending it. And um, okay, first let me tell you that Vivek Shanbag has written uh, Gachar Gochar, and this is his second book, I guess. And uh, even Gachar Gochar and uh, Sakina's Kiss was written in Kannada, and it is translated by Srinath Perur. And I should. say that vivek shanbag and shrinath perur have done fantabulous job uh, vivek has done great job in bringing uh, this story into mainstream and shrinath has done a great job in translation although there are certain things that i feel are lost in translation but yeah this is a really good try so let's begin by uh, reading the blurb of the book okay i'll just read it as fast as i can venkat answers urgent knocks on the door to his flat one evening to find two insolent young men claiming to have business with his daughter rekha he deals with them shortly only to find his quiet middle class life upended by bewildering set of events over the next few days even as venkat is hurled into a world of street gangs and murky journalism we see a parallel narrative unfold of a betrayal and disappearance from long ago could there be a connection the story is set over a span of four mostly sleepless days during which we see venkat lose grasp of the narrative even as he loses grasp of his wife and daughter exquisitely translated from the kannada by shrinath perur sakina's kiss is a delicate precise meditation on the persistence of old biases and a rattled masculinity in a changing social and political landscape vivek shanbag interrogates the space between truth and perception in this unforgettable ingeniously crafted foray into the minefield of family life so as soon as i completed the book you know i have this habit of uh, writing down whatever i feel about the book and here i have uh, written down few points i hope you can see um so first i have written four uh, you know lines that came to my mind and the four lines are politics lies everywhere so this is one of the crux of the story where you find politics everywhere we say that politics or we might feel that politics is all about sitting on a debate show and debating about the right and wrong of what political parties do but that's not true okay if you uh, raise a need in your home that means you're taking a stand of your own which is your political stand so it's not like politics only happens on tv but it lies everywhere and it can be evidently seen in the story of venkat as well as in ramana's story the second thing that i have written is uh, you don't seem uh, the same anymore after rekha now this is uh, something that venkat said to viji uh, once they were married they were quite good romantic couple but once rekha came uh, things were going hard because venkat was trying to be that progressive husband who helps uh, his wife but at certain times you know at certain points venkat failed her and viji was really sad about it and viji started behaving different and that's when venkat said that you don't seem the same anymore especially after rekha now the third thing that i have written is you never control your narrative venkat is a guy who likes to get everything done like he wants everything to be planned uh, i am someone like that i want to get things planned because i don't like uncertainty so i plan everything and uh, at least i make sure that i do at least 60% of what i have planned but if that doesn't go that way i am tensed so here venkat also has planned certain things for him and when things don't go accordingly when external forces are influencing him venkat is frustrated now the final line that i have written is you don't understand a father now this is something very evident in the story 
uh, I think this book, if it doesn't cater from the political view for few, but some would definitely understand the um, feelings of a father from this book. So there is a room for everyone, I guess, in the book. Okay, so uh, it is very hard uh, and painful to see how Venkat is struggling. But I guess it's not only Venkat who is struggling, but at the same time, Viji is also struggling. Rekha is also struggling in her own way. But this is quite different to see a father's point of view and not many writers have done that. Now, I have written certain points that I felt uh, are evident in the book, like politics, approach to life. Venkat is a guy with, who is almost privileged and uh, he comes from a middle class background and he, he thinks that he is progressive but somewhere deep inside he is very much caught into the system. Uh, we might say that we are progressive and we have ideologies that um, we should you know follow but somewhere we all are caught up in systems that are made by someone else. So Venkat is also a prey of such a system and he has this one guy in his life that is Tiwari. Uh, Tiwari has written a book and Tiwari has mentioned so many things in the book and Venkat keeps on uh, you know revising or bringing uh, instances from the book uh, in his real life when something happens and Viji makes fun of it. Ki it's not Tiwari who is leading your life, you have to lead your life. So. Yeah, he is also an influenced person and then uh, there is something like family dynamics very evidently seen, father-daughter relationship, spouse relationship, then uh, change in preferences and handling adolescence, very important thing where we find Rekha to be a very, uh, you know, hurricane kind of girl and becomes so hard for Venkat to understand her because she is going through her adolescence and it becomes really hard when Venkat feels that Venkat is the only odd one out in the family while uh, Rekha and Viji become a team. So this is something again very much relatable uh, to me in person, so uh, personally. So the next thing uh, in the story is uh, politics like power, rebellion, fate, corruption. We can find all these things in the story and uh, yeah about the self image that Venkat has about himself and how he wants to maintain it and how he badly wants to you know um, be among the best everything like he's like any other man uh, who wants to be in a good position who needs a social image who, who wants to be the best and still he wants to be progressive but still he wants his daughter to uh, you know stay inside home whereas Rekha is a very powerful rebellious and a logical girl who who has her own stance and who believes what she says is right so yes these are some points that I've written about the book and there is one thing that I've particularly written about Venkat okay yeah guys this is my bookmark um, pathetic fine so I have written Venki as I would call him is very is every other man in the society who tries to be progressive by ideas and notions but it is none other than this he is none other than a slave of the system of privileges i have written it and i myself cannot read great anyways Vijay is none other than an empowered lady of her times independent as herself yet emotionally uh eight or emotionally attached to her family and she is like you know uh, she is a lady who believes that reading is for pleasure whereas Venkat reads self help self help books for um, learning something from it which is apparently i think is too much because it's not possible to learn all things that i've mentioned in the book so but Venkat sees it in that way and Rekha sorry Viji is one who reads books for pleasure and Viji believes in having personal space whereas Venkat feels that no being uh, a couple we should be open to each other so we find those differences that we can usually find in our daily lives okay so this is something that I have written and overall if you ask me what do I give this book a star rating or something then I would give this a 3.5 4 star out of 5 yeah I think that should work 3.5 to 4 star uh, it can depend uh, this book actually made me pick up Gachar Gochar okay because um, I love reading 
books that are uh, belonging to Indian premises because it becomes very relatable, guys. It's very easy to understand. Sometimes you find your own house or home while reading, and uh, this book was one such. Uh, well, Sakina's case is something that I think it is so far one of the best reads of 2020. Three, because um, it's not because it has something jaw dropping or it's like very unique or it's something out of the world. No, ऐसा कुछ नहीं है. Okay, nothing like that. This book is so far so good because it has addressed one of the basic things, evident things that we usually, uh, you know, deny ourselves from accepting, which is the existence of politics in everything that we do. Even if we speak, even if we uh, think in a particular way, it is politics. It might be influenced by our family or friends, but still, it's politics. So usually, we don't speak of it when we talk of family and family relationships. So this is something that uh, I liked about the book, and I think more such books should come. Uh, and yes, that's it. I think this book is something that people are gonna read. Really you know enjoy so you can check out its link in the description box okay i have given all the details and yes let me know what you thought about my review of this book thank you guys for watching and if there is anything that you want to uh, share about the video just leave it in the comments and yeah that's it stay healthy stay hydrated and if possible read 5 pages a day it's not a big task okay take care bye